Okay, so we're a day out uh, from this uh, deep neck lift. Uh, this lady is very young. You say, why would I do so, uh, a neck lift in a 30-some-year-old person? Because she was born with a really, really obtuse, uh, thick neck, and it wasn't because she's overweight, just the way she was born. So what I did to, to create this result um, was I took out all of her deep neck fat, not all of it, but almost all the deep neck fat. So a lot of people think liposuction is the trick, and you can't take it out with liposuction because liposuction will miss 99% of the fat. And so I had to go take out all the deep neck fat. I took out part of the muscle called the anterior digastric, more on the left than the right. The right didn't have too much of it. It's a muscle that I only shaved down the, the portion that's bulgy. It's the, the top half of the, the anterior digastric portion. And then I have removed golf ball sized glands uh, from both sides called the submandibular gland to help get this result. And I did a small chin implant. It's medium size technically, but it's the smallest size I use. Uh, then I did a lift and I split the platysma muscle here to create a better jawline definition. So I've lifted all of this up. Um, and so she, uh, her speech is a little bit off as you saw in the video. And the reason is that I use a long lasting an anesthetic because it's sore down in the neck and the jawline. So I put a block in there um, and that's normal. But this is a day out from uh, a lift. Look down again. And she just absolutely did not have this uh, before, but it looks really, really good so far. Okay, so we are a week out from this neck lift. A little bit of bruising left, but you can really see that this neck, turn your neck down, is super clean. A lot better. It's amazingly better. You happy? So happy. Beautiful. Yeah. Looks amazing.